Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. Right, so I made a boo last episode, so let's see if we can sort that out. It was a tip from Wilfen, and what he basically said is I got the wrong end of the stick, which I did. So let's go and have a look at that first of all. There's also a load of mobs around, I think. Oh, they've gone. Good. They were a few seconds ago. I reckon they've got... Uh, they weren't down here anyway. So, right, okay. Good, I think I set up some areas. That's right, yes, I did. I basically set up a decomposer and two synthesizers. Now, what we can do here, we've got a magna cream. So we decompose this magna cream, and it gives us three polymetal methyl metal cryate. Now, and we also get a plutonium and a mercury. So if we now come along here and we take this polymethyl cryate here, we actually get three slime balls. Okay, great. If we come along here and then we take the plutonium and we put the plutonium in here, we get our blaze powder back again. So when we combine this, when we combine this to this, of course we get a magna cream again, so we can repeat the process. And every time around, we get one high, uh, mercury and two slime balls, which is actually a really good tip. So thank you very much, Wilfen. That's super. I, did, I didn't know about that before. I would have used it a lot more before. But, uh, so is that. So slime balls are... I don't know, no, I don't think I'm using them that much in this pack anyway. But it doesn't matter much, does it? Now the next thing is... Um, actually, I put it in the bag. I want here. This fusion reactor block. I thought it wasn't going to be too bad. But it's awful. It's the worst ever... And I think if I put it down here, and we press A on that, basically what it wants is... Oh, I don't need that in there, do I? Fusion calls. Where did that go to? I just disappear. Most peculiar. Huh? Did I right-click it again? <laughs> oh, yes, I did. Oh, I see what I'm doing. Yes, I'm putting it down like this and right-clicking it again. Let's right click this and take this out of here. So these things cost an absolute fortune. I hadn't realised how awful they were. <laughs> Let's have a look at the recipe for these fusion coils. We get one. They're in advanced machine casing, which we get. So we've got two. So we basically got to make four. So we basically what we're going to make. There's 24 blocks. And I'll show you this. There's 24 blocks here. We can't see it at the moment. There's 24, I think. We've got two of them. So we need to make another 22. So let's go back to the recipe of this. So 22 advanced machine casings means 88 reinforced machine casings. That basically needs, I don't know, rather a lot of antimony ingots, like four times 88. The standard machine casings aren't actually a problem. But the antimony ingots are, of course, because the only way to get those is through UU matter. And this thing, you can't pick it up, except for with the, at the electric wrench here. Put it in to make sure it's in the loss of the mode, it is. And then right click this. Hold on, let me. Oh, wrong one, did I want this one? All it does is turn it around, turn off that. All it does is turn it around. You can't pick it up. Shift right click it, it doesn't pick it up, it just rotates it. So the only way I find of picking up is to use a wand, like that. So it's now gone. So that's a tip. Don't try to break it. All you get back is a machine block. Um, I tried that for fun. So the other thing I did is I have got the transmutation tables. I've got these energy condensers and the transmutation table. I will be honest, I sort of cheated this one. In. I didn't actually cheat it because I got the three blocks of rhodium. Then I did a backup. Transferred the backup to a single world, a uh, single player. Came along here, put the fuse, put a block of iridium in here, and in here it should have had a book actually. I think it did have a book. Anyway, I had a Fortune 3 book in here. <laughs> Gosh, come back. I'll remove that thing out of my hand here. Put it out of the way. Oh, yes, there we go. An enchanted Fortune 3 book. And then I put the block in, one block into there. If I got something, and actually I did, I got an energy condenser first game. 
and then it backed up again. And if I didn't, and I'd restore and try again. And eventually I got these, and I'll show you the actual sequence of what actually happens. So I'll just splice that in now. So I even got two in one go, which is fantastic. You could get stuff like that. Now I haven't used these things ever before in my Minecraft days, but this one is fairly straightforward. Let's put it down. <clears throat> I don't need power. They just need a way of getting stuff into it. I think here's probably a good place like that. So we can then put into the side of this some bits and pieces. So let's do that. So we can put in here, let's take across the side, the top here. I think it'll still open if I do this. So the idea is that you put something into here and with and you feed it with items. So let's get out of here a export and an import bus. I think I well I'm not hundred percent sure. We'll we'll try it anyway. So I'll put the export bus on one side like this. I'll put the import bus on the other side like this. So let's go and get some, for example, cobblestone. Because cobblestone's cheap and it's pretty. We've got lots of it. In fact, I probably could use other stuff as well. I've got 12 million mass cobblestone, but it doesn't have any EMC value. As you can see, as you shift across it, so I can take this cobblestone stack of cobblestone here and I can put it into here. I can get around like this. And put it in, oh I actually could have done it like this, couldn't I? I can put one in here and I can put the rest into this like this. And this will slowly feed up with, fill up with cobblestone. I think that's going to work. So what we can then do is we could put a block. So this one's got an EMC value of 4. So we could put one of those in like that. And it's, t it's giving us these. Now that these are not being imported, as you can see. Let's take that off there. Or are they being imported? Nope, they're not being imported. I wasn't sure whether you have to import them or not. It doesn't really matter that much, to be honest with you, because what we're going to be making in this stuff is um, an aqueda. So let's go. My game's very fast today. So I think I've got some Nakoda in here like this. But this has got 200 million EMC. Now that means 200 million. I'll put that up there. That means 200 million cobblestone. Now that's a lot. I've got to find a better way of doing this because cobblestone by itself ain't going to. It's not going to do it really, is it? No. To make one Nakoda. So I've got to find something with a higher EMC value that I can make easily. Well, I could do some slime balls, I suppose. That wouldn't be too difficult, would it? Iron blocks, stack, that's 73,000, I've got lots of iron, there must be something anyway I can, I can use for doing this. So that's what that, these energy condensers do, so we can make blocks from that, anything with the EMC value. So slime balls, magna creams, we can make those pretty straightforwardly, and actually that's not a bad way as it does happens, but this one here. Let's put this down, have a look at this. Let's put it right and slap bang in the middle of this room here, like that. This has got an interface. So you can learn the recipe of a slime ball. Now, actually, let's learn the recipe of uh, slime balls. Did not work. Let's learn the recipe of this one. Okay, it's learned. So we've learnt mint. 
A slam ball should also work. And that's also learned. Okay. So now, if we go along here and put in... Let's put in a block of iron as well. Learn that one. Let's put a block of iron into here. Now you see we can make mint, blocks of iron, and slam balls. So we can take out a block of iron. We get it back again. So far, so good. Yeah, it's not too difficult. Now we got this tomb book, didn't we? Where is it? This is not going to be a very long episode today, by the way. So I need the tomb of knowledge, and I probably may have put it in. Let's have a look. There we go. Now this one, we can put this into the actual burning part of this. You put it in here, into the flames here. I don't know what this book here is for, but you put this into these flames here like that. It, di it disappears like that. So when we take our block of iron now and put that in, it makes everything that a block of iron worth can do. So we can make, obviously, glowstone buckets, redstone blocks, anything that's actually we can make. So it's learned every recipe that's available to us using EMC. So we can make hard and portable tanks and reinforced receipt retrievers, everything that we can do like this. And a lot of them. I don't know how many pages there are. But let's say we wanted to find slime balls. So you put the slime ball here in the middle like that. And the slime ball recipe is the one at the top. Here like that. So we can make slime balls. Obviously we can make chicken bait, factory blocks and other things. So that's the way to search for this stuff. Now if there's something that we've got that we can't do. This one, this was a divining rod. Not useful, just playing with it. Anything with the EMC values. What have we got in here? Actually there's surprisingly little. But we could actually look for this one. And there we are. Now we could make, from that block of iron, we could make these. Oh, what can we make? I'll tell you what I'll do. Put these ones in my bag here. And then shift click those out. I get 64. And I've still got some capacity here as well. So that's a really nice way of making, save some time making stuff for the price of EMC. So EMC, we got 1024 now. And these take 20, so I get a lot from that, from the block of iron, which is makes life much faster. As you can see, bronze nuggets, gears, ooh, we can make slag. I wonder if we can make rich slag. So I don't know if we can sort in here. Oh, we can make slag. Can we make rich slag? Doesn't look like we can. How about we can't make grow? I mean, I'm sure of that one. Well, we can make grow actually. Oh, it's got a three. It's got a three. And grout, grog, which I've never made as well, and obsidian, and button groups. So we can do all sorts of anything you want. Really, you can now craft, which is pretty awesome. You can't. Don't. I haven't found a way to automate this, but maybe there is one. And I haven't really found a way to automate this either. Maybe you have to take it out of a different bit. Maybe if I want to import it, I have to import it from the top. But it, as you can see, it's going up slowly in here. And I could make this go up faster by shifting in some speed upgrades. So it'll fill up the stack at a time. Like that. I don't think, to be honest with you, I actually need the speed upgrades in here. Maybe one. See, that's going up already fast. Because if you won't actually make anything, you'll put it into here and it'll actually start to consume these. But they're actually consumed at a rate. You need them to be consumed at about the same rate as you were using them. So that's that. So. So what I've been doing as well, as I've been making these reinforced machine casings. So I have to wait. Let's have a look what we've got here. That's crafting 64 electronic circuits. That, of course, is stuck because that's crafting 32. That's crafting one machine block. And she'll be making some basic machine casings. I think those are blocked. Let's go and fix that. This design I did down here for these uh, assembly machines isn't very good. I will be honest with you. In here, there's nothing. In here, there's nothing. Yeah. Oh, well, then it is okay. 
maybe that's something I have to go and do upstairs in the assembly tables uh, which is oops, can't get in here and I haven't really found, thought of a good way of doing this yet either so as you can see all of these are going to get stuff in them ready to make bits and pieces I don't know which ones oh yes basic machine casings the things are being blocked up in here and I don't know the best way to sort that out maybe what I'd want is a sort of a, a longer timer or maybe just to do it on different ones you see this is now kicking in in fact it should have started on both oh, has it already done it oh, it's already done it okay good so we turn this one back on again now what will happen is the middle one of these this one here is actually going into that because this doesn't have fortune three on it so it's not got the range so that's the maximum range of those so any further away doesn't work which is actually could be used as a technique but i don't know i'm not sure it's it's going to do that like that has that done everything it needs to do 64 of those and look how nice and fast that goes from great I think that's it and they're all done so let's go outside again those compact machines by the way are just awesome i really like this we're getting rid of the load on your machine and your systems altogether so now it's crafting standard machine casings which i think have been made downstairs rubber stone of course it's going to craft more of these because it because it's just made 32 advanced ones and those will be working now, so let's go and check those out as well. So with luck. Oh, this time it's perfect. It's actually done it exactly as it should have done. That will finish in a second, and those will disappear. Uh, let's actually wait for Oh, done it already. And those are done, and those are done, and those are done. The reason it's not perfect, if it gets out of sync, it's difficult to fix. And I was going to show you how to fix it. What you do is because it starts here, it goes from that that one through to this one, to this one, to this one, as it, as it puts the items in. Sometimes it gets out of sync. So you've got some bits in here and say some bits in here. So what you do is you take the ones out of here and put them into this one. And then it will resynchronize itself and work correctly again. Let's so have a look at that one. Now you see it's actually wanting to craft the reinforced machine casing. So I'm going back upstairs again and I'm going to come out here and then I've got to go back into this uh, compact machine and then just turn this off again. Because they're going to be in here and they should also be in here. Now we've got circuits being in here and we've got the assembly. Uh, reinforced machine casing in here so that's where you see the silk touch is now working beautifully i can actually come back into oops <laughs> try again come back here and turn this one on again and then it'll carry on again and you'll see it was the one that started with the one with the least range so that's also an interesting tip for you What I haven't checked recently is also the gold. Let's go and check that as well. These are the things I'm having to do on a sort of daily basis. Come down, make sure that everything's still ticking through. Um, so we'll look at how much UU matter we've got. 14. And we need 80 for the next um, advanced machine casing. So this time it's starting to replenish the bits and pieces that it's used in the last time. I'm not sure what that one was making actually. Compost zone, things like that. So those all get made and then synchronized. So things are working quite nicely. I'm surprised, but there we are. So what I have to do is come down here and then check this one. Because it's the one where I've got the enchanting rooms in here. Make sure that this thing's empty, which it is. And therefore, this one here should also be empty. Good, it is. Because when it gets filled up, we can't carry on, and that's what chest would then get filled up. So you basically got to go through this, check each of those machines. 
And I think that's really the only one I need to check. I did put some labels on here as well. So armor processing, insulated cables. So we could have a look at that one. And the insulated cable bit was here. It's not doing any at the moment. We, we saw that before. Industrial centrifuges. These are all done. They're all empty. So that's going to, I'm not going to touch check them all because they're going to be empty. And crafting. This is the, ind the Applied Logistics 2 crafting. You see it's actually building up here some phyto grow I hope. It's actually using this at the moment but it should also be crafting it. And it's got a stack of coal and it's got some, well, four stacks of coal and so forth. Pulverized coal. That's also working quite nicely. Let's go and check what's happened to phyto grow. course there's probably yes we need to make some more circuits we're going to do those so if anybody's got an idea you see there's making it's crafting these fighter growth they're blocked I'm not sure what's blocking those there we go it was the potassium it's so basically it's this machine over here it blocks because it's it's got stuff to make but it's doing it it's relatively slow and it does it one at a time. But fortunately we don't need too much of that. Let's go upstairs again. And oh, I need to go into that. I need that, don't I? I need to go into this compact machine over here and tell it I want to do the next circuit. So let's turn that off. Check. I think it must be the middle one this time. As soon as that's working again, we can turn that one back on again. And these will actually make quite happily. Get that in my hand. So it's making the advanced circuits now. So it goes round and round and round and round like this. I don't actually need. Ah, oh, of course. So what I suppose you'd really want is you would want some sort of timer to right clock toggle that off and on but you can't really toggle it off and on because it takes so many items anyway that's it for this episode basically i'm not going to do much more because oh i've got one more i'm going to do one last thing i'm going to finish the last quest why not i forgot about it the last quest is to take a block of iridium, an ingot of iridium, this one will do, and then we make use of that one. I think we can, you see we've still got this recipe in here, so that hasn't gone yet. I want to make it a plate, not what we do. Rolling, okay, metal former. Let's go and do that. Metal former is Oh, it's in the factory. Okay, let's go over to the factory. I'm just trying to think, is it in the factory? Before I disappear off. Um, yes, it is. They were here, weren't they? And I've moved everything away. So let's go off to the factory. And the metal form is there here, good. So that's the one, the rolling one is one we want. Let's put that into there. That's got taken out straight away. It's very fast. And let's take, let's get our plate. One iridium plate. Interestingly enough, let's look at the quest for that one. So this is take flight, and this is it, HAL. One iridium plate, detect. So we get one reputation done. So that's it. There's no quest for transcendence, transcendence for the time being, because that will be the last quest which we'll be working to. I reckon that's to do with an aquadar and all the rest of it. So improvements is all complete. Take flight is now all complete. Crystallizers, if you want to do it, you can do it. Basically, it's repeatable quests, isn't it? Elements. Complete. Stars align. Complete. Moon trance. 
This is a repeatable one for saplings, but complete. And select your model while I try to make potato mode. <laughs> it's hard enough <laughs> in normal mode. I think potato in rabbit for the one to choose. So that's it. All the quests are completed. But I haven't finished really, have I? So let's... I would like to finish doing something useful. So let's go back to base. What I'd like to do is to actually make enough of those reinforced casings. And while those reinforced casings are being made, make something useful out of them. Um, put them on the blast furnace. I've got another block over here. Look at that. Got it. And then some got some more helium here too. I've got a bucket on me. Yes, indeed, I have. Just come along here, get the bucket in hand. Oh, I've got to turn the glider, of course. Did I get it? No, I didn't. Yeah, now I did. <laughs> so funny things, those things come in. I don't know where they come from, I will be honest. But it slowly disappears now, I think. Oh, it doesn't look like it is. Has it got more than one source block up there? A foot of footsteps. No, I can't see any. Let's try again. Ah, oh, it is moving down slowly, I think. Yes, it is. Okay, good. And the pearls are replanted. Got some more. I think these tanks are now full. Oh no, I can put the last bucket in there. Because each one of these is half. Oh no, 250 milliliters. Okay, good. I've got another chance for another one. So, that's it. I'm not sure I'm going to make any more episodes. Well, I will do, probably. But they weren't going to come out for quite a long time. So everybody's given me tips. Many thanks. I've quite enjoyed it. I don't really like this last part of it, getting the EU matter. It's very slow. It's actually painfully slow. But all the rest of it's been really good fun. So, until next time, bye for now. <laughs>